It is Christmas Eve day! So exciting! Well, this video is not going to have anything to do with Christmas from this point forward. Um, we're going to talk about what I think about relationships and not my lack of relationships. Uh, I was in my car the other day and I had my friend from work with me, a guy, and we were talking and he was talking about how he really needed a girlfriend. First of all, I hate when people say they need a, like a significant other because you don't need one. I mean, everybody wants and craves for one. You know, you want that companionship, but you don't need another person. Not, I don't know, that's always bothered me how people say they need somebody in their life, you know? If you can't live independently, how are you supposed to live with another person? But anyway, that's not the big problem here. My big problem is when we were talking, he was talking about this girl that he thinks is really cute. And he was listening off to me why he thought this girl was cute. And you know, at first it was alright, you know, she's cute and something. And then he's like, and she's a cheerleader and she's a Greek because he's in a fraternity as well. And this really bothered me because... You know, this is, it kind of struck me as a lot of people do this. When we are talking about people we like or, you know, people we could like or, you know, when we introduce our, our significant other, we list what they are. And such as, hi, this is my husband. He works for blah, blah, blah. And we do this. It's why do we feel the need when we introduce somebody to say what they do? Does it matter? Or when you, when you, think about liking someone does it really matter that she's a cheerleader why can't you just be like oh she's got a great personality and I just love being around her and you know that never entered the conversation all it was was she's cute and she's a cheerleader and that just didn't make sense to me and then he got mad because he said she was a jersey chaser which I assume means she likes people on the football team but who knows? I'm pretty sure that's what it means. And I just, I kind of laughed because he was pegging her as the cheerleader and that's why he liked her. Well, maybe that's how she is about football guys, but I like to think I'm different and the guys are like, maybe that's why I can't get a boyfriend. <laughs> it's because I don't peg people that way. When I think about somebody I like, it's how much I like them and stuff like that. But I don't know, I think it's weird how we do that, and we look at, like, um, cliches when we think about people we like, and instead of, you know, personality-wise. And I, I think, I try to, like, when I'm looking for a guy, I try not to do that. I don't care what he is, you know, football, uh, gymnastics punk rock guy. I don't care. If I get along with you, then it doesn't matter. I think. I think that's how it is. But anyway, I just noticed that and I wanted to bring that to other people's attention and see if anyone else has noticed this trend of, you know, talking about people we like or, you know, attaching things. I think we do it to impress other people when we introduce them that way, but if I like someone, I don't think other people should have to be impressed. Like, if you are, great. If you're not, fine. But I like them for who they are. But that's it. Thanks for watching.